up guys we are starting adventures of a hardcore iron woman episode two um i'm trading in another cat to a citizen for 200 death runes um surprisingly i haven't had a cat die yet oh and also i want to show y'all my mandalorian um sweatshirt it's big on me because i think it's cozy and everything but i really really love that isn't that awesome so, I had to show that off, but, uh, sorry, got distracted. I'm a really big Star Wars fan, so, anyway, it's the little things in life that make us happy. My next um, plan is to get to Winter Tot, as I said. Still working on that, but um, slow and steady wins the race. Alrighty, I got Druidic, Druidic Ritual. I cannot pronounce anything in RuneScape. But that allows me to start herb lore, which is awesome. Um, I try to get that done before I started doing anything else because that allows me now I can access all of the skills in RuneScape where before I was kind of locked behind runecrafting and herb lore. But those are now unlocked and we're ready to go. Alright, I just finished Shield of Arar with my hardcore friend. All good and 600 coins. Very nice. All right, guys, so you know how you get money from the stronghold of security? Well, I'm going to use 3,000 coins to start a house because you want a house started for when you go to Winter Tot and stuff like that to start getting construction XP. Because if you don't own a house, you don't get any construction XP from Winter Tot. And it's actually really good passive XP. So let's go ahead and get my character a house. So I definitely think that's worth it, especially if you're going to go do Winter Tot. So that's taken care of. Okay. I am going to sell this cat for 200 death runes. Another cat down. So awesome. I'm trying to work on getting 50 fire making for Winter Tot. But also I need to start getting the Clue Hunter outfit and leveling some crafting to 20. Um, so, you know, those are kind of my goals right now is getting a winter tot and also maybe working on agility, uh, crafting is needed, and then getting the clue hunter outfit. Alright, I got all the clue out hunter outfit that I want. I only need so many pieces for winter tot, so I should be good. Um, probably will bring another object, but I'm not sure yet. All right, I don't know why I decided to do sheep shear, I guess our sheep herder and I suck at herding sheep and this quest sucks. I was like it's really good quest points so I would do it but honestly this quest bites but here we go. So I just finished the quest and I feel so bad watching this dude do sheep share. I hope he gets it in the gate. You got this dude. No! <gasps> Oh, he did it! He did it! Oh, dude, yes. Good job. Yeah, that took me a while. <laughs> Let me go turn in the quest. Okay, 3.1k, which is nice, and four quest points. The quest points for that quest is impressive because it's, it's like four quest points for supposedly an easy quest. It's just an annoying quest, but glad that's done. We are at 39 quest points. Alright, so basically I want to get to 20 crafting. I could do cowhides, but I just don't really want to train combat because of winter tot. I mean, I could, but I don't know. Um, oh, I just completed a candor and diary. Awesome. So I'm going to be spinning flax into bowstring and just banking them until I get to 20 plus crafting. Um, so yeah, we'll knock that out and that will allow me to make the, um, what do I need to make a games necklace? That's actually a really good question. Let's see, jewelry. So to make a sapphire necklace, okay, it can't be that hard, 22. So actually I'll need 22, um, crafting and then we'll be good to go. Cosmics I'm a little bit worried about because the only place I know where to get Cosmics in RuneScape is actually going to the wilderness at this low, low, low of a level. So I'll have to figure out what to do from there. 
Oh, and I should probably mention that this is all for the games necklace, and the games necklace will allow me to teleport to Winter Tot. So I think that that's the pr uh, primary reason why I'm trying to get my crafting level and then find out where comics are so I can enchant the necklace. I should probably explain these things, you know, what the heck I'm doing. Alright, I'm tired of holding this antique mother loving lamp in my inventory so I'm just gonna use it on it has to be 30 plus probably f f fishing I'm just tired of having it in my inventory it's like if I was an ultimate Iron Man that wouldn't be a problem probably I don't know but yeah 40 fishing guys <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? I have been just AFKing fishing. I don't know why, but I'm like 47 fishing and 46 cooking. I have been just like going to town on that because I've been AFKing on my maxed main iron and on here. Um, which you don't do unless you know you're 100% safe. And while I've been doing that, I've been drawing. I drew an Athorian from Star Wars, if y'all know of them. My husband says it looks like a penis. I'm like, if your penis looks like that, something's wrong. But, yeah, I was just drawing and really enjoying that. So that's why I've been AFKing. And this is extremely slow fishing levels. But the food, like tuna, is going to be really good for winter tot. So I'm excited. Almost 48 fishing. So that's going to be pretty sick. But I'm going to stop doing this and go ahead and get back to fire making and doing some other things in the game but heck yeah all right guys i'm getting ready to finish jungle potion which will give me some dank herb lore xp um i was getting smacked in this quest i had plenty of food but i mean i think max hit was a seven that they could hit maybe higher it was pretty bad all right let's turn this in we got 775 herb lore xp and nine herb lore very nice guys if y'all are curious um if you want to get anti-poisons because it's highly recommended if you're chilling on karamja because it's pretty dangerous with these poison spiders if they hit you they have a chance to poison you there is this chick on karamja named jim jimnua and jimnua Jimnua. Yeah, if you trade her, she sells these anti-poisons for a pretty hefty price. I think like 430 something coins, but totally worth it if you can't make them yet and it allows you to do like jungle potion and some of the other quests. All right, guys. Finally getting um 50 fire making. I feel like that took forever for some reason, but Finally got 50 of a fire making, so I should be able to go to Winter Tot soon. I just need to go ahead and um, get some comic runes so I can enchant a sapphire necklace. And then we should be good to go. Damn, I just did my first easy clue scroll and like it's freaking sick, dude. I got a studded body, which is actually really good for me training range up until we're basically all the way up until 40 range. Very nice. So my recommendation is if you're going to buy a staff for training magic, buy a staff of air first because so many spells require air, um, especially if you're going to spend money at such a low level. So we are good to train a little bit of magic and I'm going to kill some hill giants and try to get some cosmic runes. Damn guys, this is my fourth beginner clue. <laughs> I just got a steel plate body. That's gonna be sick when I start getting. I can actually wear that right now. It's free stuff, dude, for like really easy beginner clues. That's pretty sick. I kind of wish I got steel plate legs and not a skirt, because I already have a steel plate skirt, but you know what? Stuff to sell. Dang, these days remind me when I was like a kid. I would train at Hill Giants for like forever. Like, I was like in my 70 or 80 combat level. No joke. I was at Hill Giants. I don't know why I just love training at them. The bones were like good money. The limp roots were good money back in the day. Ah, those were the days back when I was a kid selling big bones and limp roots. And God knows whatever the hell I did these for.
we would just have conversations. Dang. And that gold trimmed armor was like the shit. And dragon armor. And I had my dragon longsword. Sorry guys, I'm just reminiscing. Bro, I got a comic ruin drop right away. Like, I didn't even have to stay here. That was my first Hill Giant kill and I got a comic ruin right away. That's fantastic. So I think I'm gonna stay here a little longer just to see if I can get a couple more. If I can't, then I'll just leave and go to winter top. But that was pretty quick. First hill giant. I think they're uncommon too. I was lucky. Alrighty guys, so I ran out of runes. Um, didn't get any more comic runes. So I got really lucky on that first drop. Got some upgrades with the steel longsword and everything like that. So that's really nice. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make a games necklace and basically get going to winter tot. Um, I may stock up up on some more food because I will only have one games necklace so I'm probably gonna get some feathers and fish some more and just get stocked up on food and then head over to winter tot all right guys I had to record over because my husband is playing games but I decided to get 30 hunter because basically these feathers that you can get from tropical wagtails you can use to get rainbow fish and i'm going to use these rainbow fish basically for food at winter tot hey guys so while i'm fishing basically i am going to be writing thank you notes to people who are going to be buying my star wars pins if you all know me personally and you're in my clan you probably know that i'm creating a star wars pin and you've probably seen it on Twitter if you follow me. Well, this is the pin. Here's a photo. It's of Hondo, and he is a space pirate, pirate in Star Wars in the Clone Wars animated series. He's also in Rebels, uh, which is also an animated series. Basically, he's like the space pirate Captain Jack Sparrow of Star Wars, and he's really hilarious and a great character, so I decided to make a pin of him. And um, these pins are actually quite large and very beautiful in person. It's a great way to support my channel and also you can start collecting Star Wars pins as I do. And hopefully in the future I'll be posting a video of that. Um, but basically that's what I'm doing on my free time when I play RuneScape. Um, you know, any kind of AFKing stuff. I like to work on the production of those pins and working with an artist. This is a great way to support an artist. Um, and also myself for my YouTube channel and just supporting me in general and you get a really cool pin out of it There's also a bunch of other pin makers on Instagram So you can go ahead and follow my Instagram, which is in the description below. I believe it's K Jones under uh, Dash thing crafts and so you can see updates there. I'll be having an Etsy shop My next pin I plan to do is Kit Fisto. So he's pretty cool. You'll have to check that out Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are. Um, just catching some rainfo rainbow fish. I have 708 strippy feathers or stripy feathers. Strippy, oh my god. Um, <laughs> so basically, I'm just going to fish a bunch of these. And I think all this food that I have will be a good enough for 99 fire making, if not even more than enough. It won't be a problem. Um, and it should give me some pretty good fishing XP. So, I mean, this is what I did on my normal Iron Man. Uh, so, I guess I wanted to do it also on my hardcore. Not just for nostalgia, but because it actually worked out pretty well for me. Okay, guys. I have fished all the fish. Um, I think I should have as many, like... Oh my gosh, I think like 700, it's probably 600 rainbow fish because I probably bur burnt a lot. But now I'm going to go ahead and make my games necklace and head to winter tot. I'm kind of nervous because I want to solo winter tot, um, primarily for the construction XP. So we'll see how that turns out. But um, 616 rainbow fish, I am 54 fishing and also 54 uh, cooking so I got some pretty good levels from that so that'd be good and we should be good on food for winter tot I should probably mention that you don't have to make a games necklace to get to winter tot you can actually walk to winter tot um, but to me like since you're going to level your hardcore anyway and get the crafting level and all of that might as well right I mean 
kill two birds with one run with one stone i suppose um but yeah i just want to say that um so i'm i'm gonna try winter tot with 13 agility because when you solo winter tot you kind of need some agility um because you tend to run out of run energy when you're soloing it um so what i'll probably do is just level my agility a little bit I don't know, I'm gonna try to solo it with 13 agility. It should be fine. It's just getting winter top below 20%. So, and running around and making sure the brazers are lit. So I'm gonna try that. Um, don't know how well it will go, but we'll see. Okay, so, I mean, the solo is going good. It's after you get down to 20%, it's really no problem. It's just that getting it to 20% with 14 run is, I mean, agility is just like tedious and not the best so i think getting higher agility will help me for doing solos um another problem with probably doing solos if is if i dc i'll probably die because you know your character is left in winter taught and there's nobody else killing the boss so it is a risk but i mean that's just part of hardcore so We'll see how this goes. Guys, I'm sorry. I didn't max out the points. Uh, I got to 9,085 points on that solo. Uh, whoopsie. I was trying to get to 10,000 to max it out, but I accidentally killed the winter tot because I'm tired. <laughs> so let's go ahead and walk outside. Well, let's open this crate. I need 18 spaces. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know how much loot you get when you max it out. On the ultimate, when I soloed, I never maxed out the points because I never had room in my inventory anyway. So, all right, let's put these in the bank and see what I got. No pieces, but okay. Terramin, okay. We got some logs, okay. Some food, some pure essence, uncut diamonds, burnt pages. So, dude, if we could get a tome, that'd be sick. Let me see how much that was. I'm just curious about the loot. Um, because that was just one solo. And I want to know, like, if I get to 10, that, well, that was 9,000. But, you know, how much on average at this, these skill levels? That's pretty good. 118k for, you know, such bad skills that I have. So, I'll take it. Well, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this um, hardcore adventure episode two and I'll see y'all next time I hope to get some serious uh, fire making gains and check out this winter toad it's cute as fuck <laughs> all right y'all have a good one